guys, it's Mike back here with another video with T-Mark Decorate Apparel. And right now I just want to show you something that we're working on really quickly. Uh, this is a design uh, that we're doing for a job that we have right now. And we printed this uh, on, from our rolling printer and it's a uh, soft opaque too is the material that this is. And guys, I just want to say, uh, as of right now, this probably has to be the best printable vinyl on the market. You can get it from stalls. We'll have a link uh, down below in the description of this video so you can try it out too. But if you're used to EcoSolvent printing, then you'll know it's nice for small designs or if you have a lot of blank space in the middle. But if you have a nice large design, it's going to feel plasticky. It's going to feel heavy on the t-shirt and there's really no way uh, around that. But this stuff is game changing. Like, no, like seriously, it is game changing. This is probably as close to screen printing as you can get from a uh, substrate uh, uh, material uh, that you're going to print on. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. It's a really, really soft feel or a soft hand uh, when you apply it to the shirt. And that's with uh, designs that have a lot of blank space in the middle or uh, full over designs. Uh, so just, you know to kind of go over this again this is an item that we're going to be using actually for our own uh clothing lines it just feels great and it gives you nice vivid prints uh so again soft opaque two i certainly recommend it and so what we're going to do now is just showing you a quick masking job uh so you would take your weeding tool and weed away the excess obviously your printer will print and cut the design all at once so you don't have to worry about that and then you just simply pull away the excess to reveal your design and then once we're done with this we're going to mask it and pull it up just show you a quick little tip that we use when we're using this substrate alrighty so don't be too rough with it just pull it along as you can alrighty so you'll take your high-tech transfer sheets squeegee and just squeegee out all those little air bubbles And something that the camera is not likely to pick up, but you'll see in person, is you can definitely tell where you need to squeegee. You know, there'll be a color contrast where there are air bubbles, and you can just take your little squeegee and knock that out. Especially with letters, you want to get as close as possible to all the edges so that when you're pulling away, it doesn't get snagged or leave anything on the carrier sheet. So let's just go there. And for our little tip, this is what I tend to do when we're using printable vinyl. So go ahead, turn on the back side, and then pull from your carrier sheet, not from your transfer sheet. So it's always easier to pull away. So you just grab your transfer sheet. And then also, real quick, you'll notice I didn't turn my transfer sheets uh, vertical to match with the carrier sheet. I made it horizontal. And it's easier because you don't want to have to be pulling your adhesive sheet uh, off of this carrier sheet where there is no design. So this is something that's going to work a little bit easier. Then you get a little area to pull from. So just start pulling away. You want to do short strokes but quick. Very deliberate with this. So just start pulling away. Don't pull slow because then your design will come up on the carrier sheet as well. So just keep on pulling. Short little strokes. Take away any excess that you may have left over. And there you have it. Now you have your soft opaque two printed vinyl design on the transfer sheets. And you can take this right over to your heat press if you want. Or if you're saving it for later, 
take the back of your transfer sheet and just apply it right on there. Make sure you use the slick side so then it won't stick together. And now this can be put on the shelf, put in a box, envelope, or anything like that. Uh, you can take it around if you want to press on site for events. So it's a good way to store your uh, printed vinyl transfers. So again, guys, thanks for checking in. Stay tuned. We will be bringing you more videos from the DAX show 2022. So make sure you like and subscribe this video. Hit that notification bell so you'll catch all those videos when they come out. This will be our first time live vlogging at an event. So it's going to be a new experience for us. Hopefully it'll be fun for you too. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.